Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to my brand new TV show reaction. It's time to finally start class. I'm very excited, I'm very nervous because I've heard very mixed things. Um, obviously also it being a Doctor Who spin-off, it's got the Doctor Who title attached to it so then you can't help but have incredibly high expectations. So I'm a bag of mixed emotions but I'm I'm looking forward to watching it because it was kind of always the plan that I would do the classic era Sarah Jane Adventures and then class you guys chose class it won in the poll I think with like 37 ish percent um and to the to those of you that aren't overly happy this one well you're probably not watching this reaction firstly um but obviously I know it's not a massively long series so there will be a poll up probably before before what's that saying there'll be a poll up before we can what there'll be a poll up sooner than you think yeah it's just a really cozy day today and i don't know if this is like more of a darker series i would suspect so in my head doctor who is in the middle the sarah jane and this is like a this is like a spectrum doctor who is in the middle the sarah jane adventures is this way is here on the softer side and class is this side that's what i'm expecting i assume it was on in the evenings that that's my memory it was on in the evenings BBC One? I have no idea. Let me know. It has got, is it Catherine Kelly, who I know from... Wow. Rude. What they ringing at one? What's, what's the emergency? Catherine Kelly, who I know from Coronation Street. I don't think I've seen her in much else, to be honest. I think she did another... Well, she's done lots, but I only know her from Corrie. So it'll be interesting if there's any other familiar faces, if there's any familiar like monsters. I don't know the premise, so I don't. I like. I don't know how Doctor Who. This is going to feel. Obviously, it's not Doctor Who, but do you know what I mean? Like the Sarah Jane Adventures was its own thing, but it still had such a feel of Doctor Who, and I and I wonder if this does. I think it only did one series, so whether it just wasn't popular, I'm sure you will let me know. I will be putting the full length over on Patreon. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to hear the theme tune because Doctor Who, Sarah Jane Adventures, iconic. Oh God. Oh gosh. I just said with Peter Capaldi. Stop it. Stop it. More twelfth doctor? No. Tanya, are you coming to help decorate later? I need volunteers. My mum says I'm too young. But it's being year twelve. Technically, you qualify despite you know, being like two years ahead. How old are you anyway? Well, because that question never gets old. Are you choosing already, Charles? Have you taught us anything yet? True. So how about our first lesson of the day? Your teacher has awful butterfingers. You can't do that! That's his private property! April McLean. The answer to the question, are spinsters born or made? You got a date for the prom yet? Pretty sure you're not allowed to ask that. I've got a date. Of course you do, Ren. Did they film this in Wales? I feel like this street looks very... Welsh. Does that make sense? <laughs> Hello? You took your sweet time? Hello? Perhaps a better question is why aren't you all the time at every moment? Did you come 
our student. This will burn marks that look like they were from your gun. Hmm? Now you know as well as I do, I'm not allowed to use my gun. So you find a way to some loophole. Did you kill that student? You have to shoot him. I can't use the gun. Shoot it, shoot it now! Was there a shadow? What do you know about shadows? No. God, I didn't know this was going to be this scary. Why can't she do it? The music. Oh, you out of space and time itself. Oh, Arrangements were made. We were told to try and fit in and tell people we were from Sheffield. You don't have to prove anything to you now. I know that you've got the whole sporting ego thing going on, but I like you because I know that deep down that's not true. Now will you please let me go to the... My goodness. I love that he's just taking it on. Yeah. Oh yes. What exactly do you think you're doing here? Well, I'd ask you the same 
Orchestra. Fair enough. It's just that I seem to have a soft spot for people who are the last of their species, which you have made my friends here. I found them alone, but they were supposed to live quietly. Plus, the cabin is empty. I knew it would be. Every Rodian does. It's just, just bedtime stories for children to make death less scary. As if death should be anything but terrifying. Then why would you take that captives in memory of my people? All my people who are gone! I thought he had his leg chopped off. I was very brave. He killed her. He didn't even think about it. He just... <clears throat> okay, what the... Hey, hey. Listen. Um... Right, these... People. Yes. They may discuss me, but at the end of the day, they're just children. They can't kill me. I think that they have shown some rather extraordinary spirit, don't you? A willingness to sacrifice themselves to save others. What about football? Unbelievably boring sport. Now, darts. Darts are something worth practicing for. Maths and alcoholic beverages. The best way to spend a morning. I can't be everywhere. So, you will help these amazing humans here. And these amazing humans will help you. How? I can't fire weapons. I can't use swords and knives and screwdrivers. Your brain, Miss Quill. It's not empty. Where do I start? So I do just want to say firstly, that's just the first episode. Nothing I'm about to say is meant to be insulting, but I just want to just like spiel how I'm feeling. Um, I didn't like the start. I didn't like the opener that we jumped straight in there with, I don't even know the character's names, the teacher, Catherine Kelly's character, and that student that then got killed. I just, it felt too like, boom. Um, Normally I quite like a quick start, but I just thought for me personally, we were thrown a little bit too far in the deep end. And then it was like scrabbling to like figure out who everyone was. Um, so I, I, that I wasn't a big fan of that. I liked the reveal of like the two of them being aliens. I thought that was really cool. And that she is his slave and she can't use weapons. It's a, it's a really like nice, um, it's just a nice twist, isn't it really? What was that girl's name? April? I think it's April. I know that she was very like, you know, stuff's happened and we're all living on a knife edge, but to be, to adapt that quickly to being like, yeah, it's fine. I'm sharing like half my heart with like an alien. I was just really, would you be that cool? Would you? Um, we had Capaldi, which, as you saw, I cried because there's just something really special when you go and watch, even though it's a spin-off, you don't, I don't expect to see any of the like actual doctors there. And I feel like with the Sarah Jane adventures, we had 10 and 11 and now in class to have 12 come in is wonderful. I adore the 12th doctor. Like I think because I'm doing like a rewatch, I, I suspect on my rewatch, he could 
I mean, I, I, I genuinely love them all, but I, I feel like he has the potential to really come out on top. I want to say he's underrated because I hear a lot of, lot of people talk about him, but I feel like the discussion is more about his episodes than him. Capaldi is unbelievable as the Doctor, in my opinion. Like, I absolutely love him. So to just have a little bit more of him was just so great. Did Capaldi's bit save that episode? Yes. If Capaldi hadn't appeared, I think I'd have found that episode like, meh. I loved the shadow creatures though. I thought they did a really good job of that. I liked that it was darker when Rachel got killed. I just thought, oh, yeah, yeah. But they're not here to mess around. I like that. I like that we're just, I don't know, it's just a bit grittier. But my, my biggest criticism, and I'm sure you guys are going to absolutely bite my head off, but this is the first episode, so just hear me out. I didn't think the acting was that great. I don't know if that's the acting or the writing. I don't know. I didn't think Catherine Kelly was, like, wowing. And I've seen her. I mean, I didn't even used to watch Corrie, but I've seen some clips of her and she's unbelievable. So I just found the students very... I don't know and I don't want to be insulting but I just there was there were some good moments with April but there were also some moments that I thought I think I could act just as well as that um the strongest one for me at the moment is Ram the one who's with Rachel his performance I was the most like his reaction so again it could be the writing I don't know to Rachel being killed just felt very real and just the anger coming out and hopefully as the time goes on that the rest of them have some grittier lines and we can just see them pushed a bit more. Um, but it just, I don't know, it felt very, yeah, at the beginning just, it just felt very quick. I'm not sure, I don't know how I would have started it because I'm not a writer, but it just, I wouldn't have started it that way. I think we, I actually think we would have benefited from seeing what happened with the two aliens rather than that be then a throwback i think we would have been better starting there seeing them dropped off at the school and then the journey obviously they don't know that the rest of them don't know that she killed that student well by getting him to use the gun um but, and yeah i thought some of the acting slash writing was not i don't know just was very mediocre i guess but there were some good bits so i'm i'm hopeful and it does feel different it feels a, a little bit for me like a bit of a stranger things element bit of a misfits element so just yeah something that i i think i could get on board with but if i'm not presented with acting that i believe i can't see past that so I'm hoping we see more from Catherine Kelly because I, I think she's a, an incredible actress and I hope I see that others just get stuck in a bit and I, I watch the next time and it looks just as gory so hey I'm sure I'm in for a ride but yeah take all my comments with a pinch of salt obviously it's only episode one and let me know your thoughts feelings if you have any of any of my have you if you have any of my answers to my questions that would be great and yeah I'm glad I'm glad I've started it I am really looking forward to it need to get used to the theme tune it's not it's very just like 2016 isn't it it just I feel okay do you know what I feel at the moment it feels like they're really trying that's how it feels you know when you meet someone they're just they, they try probably a little bit too hard to be this cool whatever that's what I feel with this show they're trying to be like cool and current does it work to be continued and i will see you very soon for episode two